Hello everyone, this is the Rally Productions here with another video. This time we got a box from Trains in the Valley. They recently done a, a whatnot auction, and I'm so excited to open this stuff up. So, let's get on to it. And yes, I am using this, uh, I forgot what type of knife it's, knife it's called, but... Although, um, probably won't cut as bad, like if you actually cut your finger or something. But though... Be extremely careful, cause I have no idea what I did with my exacto knife. So yeah, we're using this. It's not even cutting good. Okay, yeah, make sure. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm using the right side on this. Put this guy back in the box. Well, the knife that I usually use is actually a box cutter. In this case, let's switch the box around. Alright, our contents is inside the box. I see we already have some of the stuff in here already. And here we go. Here's our note. Once again, that's my parents' name. So here's the letter. And, oh, and yes, I will check out your website soon. Recently, I just discovered your eBay page. I saw one. Also, if trains about if you're watching this video, um, one day I was looking for some Atherin Blue Box kits, and um, I saw this truck trailer one. I was like, okay, cool, but I didn't realize this was from you guys. I feel like a day later, find out, or was it the same? I don't remember. Oh, and there's a tanker car playing it over there or I don't remember it's the same day that I found out but anyway so here's our first piece of Rowland stock we have a Union Tinker car from Tyco and someone's ringing the phone uh just ignore that uh you know what I'm gonna have to wait till the phone hangs up okay okay it's, it didn't take forever At, when I paused it immediately uh went off so anyway, so we got a Union 76 tanker. I always kind of want to get one of these guys, and it's from Tyco, made Hong Kong. Pretty nice. Mine's missing a ladder, which is no big deal. I can probably three print one. So yeah, Union 76 tanker. Let let go off to the side. And next piece of round suck, which I don't know. Oh, I think this is a caboose. Okay, yeah, I know what this one is. So, what we have here is a custom undecorated taiko, taiko caboose, but it's special because someone custom worked this of adding a coup the cupola in the middle. Which I think that's pretty cool. It's undecorated, this thing will be painted to something, um, I don't know what it would paint into, but, um, so yeah, but I do have plans to paint this into a Missouri Pacific caboose, caboose, you got, you guys all know, I love the Missouri Pacific, um, it's, uh, oh, this box car is pretty unique, I've never seen one before, until I saw a YouTube video of it, it's a, uh, Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, crud. So we got a Poland, Polar, Polaroid land film tanker. I mean, box car. And it has this really unique sticker, which it's gone on the other end. I had no idea it was gone. So. Oh my. Okay, so. The wheel just... Oh. So it looks like it appears to be one of the clips is broken. So yeah, I might have to replicate the sticker on this. Which shouldn't be too hard since I do have a decal printer. But though I notice these holes here. So it appears to be there's some kind of special ladder of some sorts. 
I really have no idea anything about this car, really. Oh, this is a Roco. I thought this was AHM, because I saw some of these on eBay from AHM. Okay, so that's unique. I don't think I even own a Roco piece. Oh, I just realized it's messing this little board walk on the top. What's this? Aha! Uh -huh. So, we have our next piece, which is a uh, Tyco Southern Pacific caboose, which looks pretty nice. I may end up selling this guy. I was it too interested in buying it? Oh, it's like it appears it got rot out down there. But anyways, here is the uh, caboose for you guys to see. A little bit. Is that missing like a stick or something? Must be, but so that's our other caboose. Here's our next caboose. Our final one, I think. I think I could be wrong. Is another custom um, cupola caboose with the cab in the middle. This one appears to be a little different than the other because the other one had two cut marks on the top. This one doesn't. But yeah, probably needs to be stripped down and um, painted. But either way, I kind of like this caboose. It's very unique of how it's like this. So this guy will be painting something custom soon. Don't know what. Now on, to, now on to the other stuff. We have a Wieson Pure Vegetable Oil Tanker. Now, there's one thing when I just want some random pieces of train cars. I saw this eBay listing of two of these guys. I was like, okay, those look pretty cool looking. So I got them, but... Well, I got them ordered, but one problem. They never came in. Like, the seller didn't even ship them out or anything. So, we got a refund on that. So, I never got another one of these again until until on the whatnot auction I got one. This also has reporting marks for GATX. Very nice condition tanker. Has all the steps minus the uh, ladders on the side, but no big deal. Um, what we got here? Oh, this is um, a flat car I'm saving for later for something. We have a, a Tyco El Capitan box car. Mine that I have. Hold on, let me go get up and grab it real quick. Mine has the yellow text. This one has the white text. So now I got um let me text on now I got both versions. Oh, this happens to be another version, I don't even know about it. So let me let me know if there is another version or not. Just spin over there. Um this is okay, we're saving that piece. That piece is being saved. Alright, so right here, I got another yellow text one. Have this one, I'm planning on upgrading and repainting to something pretty nice. What's up there, like a scratch or something? I don't know, but I saw this guy on the Tyco forums of upgrading these Tyco. Box cards on the side. Heck, why not do it? I already have like some very nice looking knuckle coupler box. I mean, knuckle couplers with the boxes and got some metal wheels. Just need to try to tune them and we're ready to go. So, yeah, got that. Um, what's this? Oh, th that guy's getting saved. Okay, so you see, what's this car? Aha, uh -huh, so down here we have. Oh, there we go. Penn Central, one of the greatest routers in, in history. I have literally have no opinions on Penn Central. It might be thinking, well, that sounded very familiar. Well, it's from a guy named 
uh, Rye Berlinski, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Yeah, on that um, quote when you saw the um, Penn Central Heritage unit. So I just want to say that. So I got this Penn Central gondola, don't know why. Well, I know why because I had to do a pick three on some stuff to get what I want. So yeah. Alright, time to open some of the special stuff. Last piece is going to be safer. Actually, now let's open it. Alright. What do you guys think that's inside of this? I got a lifelike Amtrak F40PH. Yes, I got a, a lifelike F40PH, and it's a little broken, but I'm sure with some CA glue. But why does this one look more bulky than the one that I actually have? Hold on, let me grab the one that I actually have. Um, that I own. Mine is Walters, and mine runs really good. Okay, maybe it just looked a little different, but... Yeah, I got two F40s now. Very happy to have two F40s. So yeah, this one somewhat does run good. Just need to clean off the wheels. Add knuckle couplers. This guy will be smooth sailing. So yeah, number 229. There's another one, but it didn't run, so... I decided not to get that one. Now... Onto the special stuff. This one here we got is the G.I. Joe train. I had to get this. It, it was pretty cool. So, yeah, th this is actually surprisingly my first Tyco 040 switcher. This was uh, sold in another place at one point. He washed that off. But I do have a fly card, but that thing is an bad shape it was already like that when I got it so so yeah I got the engine which honestly looks pretty cool looking I love it my knees a little clean here and there but nothing that I can fix you know I think what's the other stuff is it like really rare or something not exactly what you think What we got is the G.I. Joe flat car. So yeah, I got a piece of Roman stock. And I'm already going to say it. I got an entire G.I. Joe, Joe train set. Minus the caboose. Here's the tanker car, which I really like. It looks pretty cool. Minus missing the handrails and steps, but it still looks pretty cool. I like it. I'm running out of space to put some of the stuff. Wait. Oh, if I can fit any more inside, I can. Yeah, it appears to be all the stuff that we got in there. So, yeah, we got G.I. Joe Special Forces. Tank, uh, not tank, wait a minute, what's this, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is the G.I. Joe one from Tyco. Nice glossy finish, though, I'd say. Actually, yeah, it is kind of glossy looking. It's a little dirty, but it needs a little wash on, but oh, they'll kind of give some character, though, to the train. i just hit my Amtrak engine. So yeah, that's what I got from Trains in the Valley. Alright. Let's see how these engines work out. Alright guys, I'm back. Let's get the engines. Starting off with the box, I mean, a uh, lifelike Amtrak look on my wolf. Okay, what? Oh. 
Hi, yes. All right. I really need that one a little bit. Is the plane just too big or something? Oh no. Okay, now remember this thing needs traction tires. I forgot about any traction tires. So yeah, let's see if he runs at least. Come on, do. It. Probably need some cleaning. Okay, yeah, what's that? Too much pressure to the thing. Alright, so time for the GI Joe engine. Now I know this guy would run. Let's we'll start up. Probably needs to clean though. I mean, he's running. So let me get that. So they may need a little clean here and there, but that's something I can't handle. It's under the, uh, the shot of the stuff that I got. Oh, Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video of unboxing of some trains in the valley stuff that I got, um I'd like to say thank you guys. Um thank you, Trains in the Valley. Um I found some pretty neat stuff from you guys, honestly. Without you, I cannot find the um what's that boxer car again the anime brakeman car honestly that thing is pretty rare and i managed to find it so yeah this is where i end the video bye everyone i'll see you in the next video bye